This is the big story presented by HerbChambers.com. This is Milton Valencia. I'm a Metro reporter with the Boston Globe, and we're covering the MBTA's latest plan to uh, close a budget gap. Really, that's chasing down scofflaws, parking scofflaws, who refuse to pay for the spots they take up at commuter rail lots uh, across the state. The state has several of these parking lots set up, and it's, it's a pay-on-your-own honor system in which, uh, you know, you pay $4, uh, you mark your parking spot on a board, and you put your $4 into that slot, and, and you, you go away, and, and you're paid for the day, and it's supposed to be an honor system. Unfortunately, some people uh, aren't too honorable in these situations, uh, according to the MBA. Looking back, they're saying that uh, about a million dollars in, in unpaid parking tif- tickets have accumulated over the years. So now they're going to re- not only recoup that money, but enforce uh, how they get it in the future. The MBTA says it's going to make things easier for the consumer at parking lots by setting up not only a pay phone system, but also a website in which consumers can go online, buy a monthly pass for $70 place that pass on the dashboard, and they're good to go. No hassles, you don't have to see an attendant at any gate, uh, and you you really can go into the system and go into the parking lot and leave, and and you're paid, and and you don't have to worry about it. And not only that, but you will have that record. You uh, You will have that record that showed you did pay in any future situations. This is one of the many things the MBTA is trying to do to kind of modernize its, its parking systems. One of the things they are trying to do is update the trolley card so you can use your trolley card at a uh, parking lot that does have an attendant. Uh, for those parking lots that don't have an attendant, the website will be quite useful as well as the payphone system. And the MBTA is also looking to, to crack down even harder on those scoff laws. One of the things they're looking at is possibly a $15 ticket for anyone who doesn't pay. And, and this is, as officials put it, enforcing the, the laws that they do have on the books now uh, to make sure that they are getting that money that they've missed out on for so long.